Hey guys, Metal Driver here, back with another WWE Elite Review. Today I'll be looking at the top picks, Jeff Hardy. On the side of the box you see an image of Jeff Hardy. Then on the back you see another image of Hardy, a brief bio, career highlights, a description of this figure, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Alright, now that we have looked at the box, let's go ahead and open this up, and let's take a closer look at Jeff Hardy. Alright, and here we have the charismatic Enigma out of the packaging, but before we take a look at the figure, Let's go ahead and look at the accessories that he comes with. He comes with a pair of interchangeable pointing hands, so this mimics the gesture that Jeff Hardy is well known for doing. He's got a little bit of the tattoos here that you can see on his fingers. And then there is some missing paint here on the left hand. I don't think that's intentional because the other hands also have missing paint, but it's not consistent with how this looks. And then the right hand has no missing paint, so it could just be a QC issue. He also has this plastic entrance shirt with the sides cut off. We've seen this type of accessory many times before. This one's in white. It's got a black line around the collar here. The image looks pretty cool. Goes in line with Jeff Hardy's character. And then it says Human Anomaly. Does seem to be some missing paint here on the M. And then he comes with this plastic cloth, towel, or maybe shirt. It's all tied up. So you see Jeff Hardy wearing this on his back pocket. So that's cool that they include this. It's got a peg right here. And it plugs right into his cheek. And then taking a look at the head sculpt. This is painted very well. I like how this turned out. The paint on the eyes look pretty good. And then the face paint looks pretty solid. Most of the line work looks pretty clean and crisp. And the cool thing about this is that if there are some in perfections it actually works out because this is face paint so it doesn't have to look completely perfect here's taking a look at the side so really nice design here so it shows off jeff hardy's artistic talent his ear spacer is painted you can even see the tattoos on his neck that looks really nice painted really well seems to be some missing paint here on his hair this side looks a little better black hair sculpted pretty well so look at the body, it's pretty much the same body that we see many times with Jeff Hardy. He's got some teal sleeves here, so that looks really nice. And then the cool feature about this Jeff Hardy is he's got double jointed elbows, which is really nice. Although there is one issue that I have, that is here with the plastic by the bicep and the forearm. As you can see there, the plastic is stressing out. So there is some white here on that hinge, that is just the lighting. The plastic stress that you see is right here, right on the forearm and here on the bicep, so that was not there when I opened it. When I messed around with the double jointed elbows, that stress mark was very noticeable afterwards, so that is disappointing, and that is on both of them. So just be aware of that. I don't know if it's just mine or if it's going to be a widespread issue, but be careful. Nice tattoo on the hand. Belt is painted pretty well. It's good silver, teal, yellow looks good. So it looks like they used possibly one or two coats of paint. Well, obviously one, but I think maybe a second one. If not, it looks really good. And then his pants are the standard Jeff Hardy pants that we have seen many times before. And pretty much the same boots as well. All right, going over the articulation, head is on a ball joint. It looks that high up, that far down. So some decent range there. His head can turn side to side and tilt pretty well. Shoulder goes that high up, can rotate all the way around, bicep swivel, as mentioned before, double jointed elbows, again be careful with that plastic there, swivel and hinge at the wrist, ab crunch allows them to go that far forward, that far back, waist swivel, legs go that far out, that high up, thigh cut, double jointed knees, and then this thing falls off really easily. The feet have a hinge, but it is limited due to the plastic here at the bottom of the pants. And then he has some decent ankle pivot. Alright, here's the new topics Jeff Hardy next to a couple Attitude Era Jeff Hardy figures. Here he is next to a modern Jeff Hardy. And finally, here he is next to a WWE Matt Hardy figure and an AEW Matt Hardy figure. Alright, so what are my final thoughts on the new topics Jeff Hardy figure? I think it's a pretty good figure. I like the paint on the head skin. I think that came out very well. I love that he has double jointed elbows. It is unfortunate that the plastic around the elbows, specifically on forearm and the bicep, seems to be stressing very easily. Hopefully it's just an issue with mine. But overall, I think this is a really good Jeff Hardy, especially in elite form. For me, double jointed elbows goes a long way. 
Now I know there's an Amazon exclusive Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy coming out really soon. In fact, some people have received it. So obviously an Ultimate Edition by default would be the best Jeff Hardy figure. However, I'm not sure when I'm going to receive it. I know a lot of people, including myself, pre-ordered that. Originally it was supposed to be scheduled to be released in September. And now it's been pushed back to August of 2022. So if that's the case and you're in that same boat as myself, then I think this would be the best Jeff Hardy to have until that Ultimate Edition comes out. So in the meantime, while you're waiting for that figure, I think this is a good one to pick up. If you haven't done so already, like this video and subscribe. If you want to have a chance to get a shout out in the next video, leave a comment down below just like new player 54 next review Elite 88 Roman Reigns. And if I do review that figure, it's going to be probably my shortest review considering it's pretty much the same as the topics Roman Reigns that I already reviewed. Only difference really is that Elite 88 comes with the blue universal belt. But if you guys still want me to review it, I can can probably do that. Follow me on social media so you can keep up to date with all my wrestling figure photography, and I'll see you next time.